place. Uh, excuse me if my tone is a little bit low today because I just I feel guilty about breaking the silence here. Uh, I'm at Waihoa Lagoon and uh, just an incredible spot. Uh, a, a lagoon that's situated right in the middle of uh, natural bush here, native bush, and uh, just quite spectacular, quite amazing. Um, I'm looking over the lagoon at the moment and there's not a ripple on the water here. It's just like glass and uh, even though we're in the middle of the bush there's a few birds tweeting every now and again singing away but apart from that and the buzz of a few flies and insects there's, there's, there's hardly any noise here. Just incredible. I'm expecting a large prehistoric animal to maybe fly over head or come out of the bushes here. It's that kind of place. It's a, a place that, that time is almost forgotten or it's a place where time has stood still. Today I'm shooting the Hasselblad uh, again. Uh, I, I finally got a second back for that uh, that camera so I'm just playing around with that back today. I'm going to shoot a roll of black and white and I'm going to shoot a roll of colour film. Not my typical type of photography so I'll probably struggle a bit this morning. Uh, not what I'm used to shooting. Probably test me a little bit. Uh, anyway, let's crack into it. Let's get into it. Let's uh, Let's start taking some pictures. This is a bit different for me. I, I, I struggle with this kind of photography. Uh, I see some of the work that people are putting out doing this woodland type photography, if you want to call it that, and uh, in awe of some of the pictures they get. And I just, I, 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 I find it difficult to get a connection. But I, what I have just done is I've just uh, I've got this uh, 150 on the camera at the moment, and uh, I'm just doing some close-up shots of the bark on this tree and the, the lichen and moss and stuff on that tree which is pretty cool so let's carry on Getting that nice fresh light streaming through the trees now, hitting the hitting the punga and the fern. I just love that uh, that fresh green colour you get when the when the light's just just streaming through and it's just illuminating those green colours, the green leaves and stuff like that. Beautiful. That's it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed this little walk into the uh, to the the magic surroundings, the mystic, magical surroundings of the Waihoa Lagoon. Hey Paul, where's the pictures? Uh, where's Paul? Hey Paul, where, 
what happened to the pictures? This is the part of the video where I am supposed to be showing you all of the wonderful pictures that I've taken. Uh, but unfortunately, um, things just didn't quite work out. I, I got back and I developed the roles of film. And when I came to look at the results, they were pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, this picture here is probably the, the best of the 12 that I took. Um, and the rest of them are just poor compositions, uh, poorly exposed. Um, yeah, it's one of those experiences that just brings you kind of right back down to earth. So uh, I was hoping to show you some beautiful pictures and some images and, uh, you know, show you how good I was, but uh, not always the case, you know. It's, it's, I'm like everybody else, and unfortunately, you know, I go out and do a vlog, I don't always get the result that I'm looking for, and this is one of those cases. Uh, but on the upside to that, I think it's a really good lesson to learn that, uh, you know, we, we don't always achieve what we want to achieve but you know we still go out and have a nice time we enjoy ourselves and we learn something and we learn something about ourselves our photography um, and I think that's important to, to to realize that it's not a perfect world and I think the you know I was going to can this whole video I was going to put it aside and do something else but I thought no I'll share it with my viewers and um, it's just again it's 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 frustrating uh, it's a frustrating situation uh, it happens to me more more than a little bit and I'm sure it happens to everybody else too. And I think I think that the, the cool thing about this vlog, it's not just about showing you success and you know being all positive things that happen. It's also showing you, you know, that you know that that things do go wrong from time to time. That that it doesn't always work out the way that you want it to work out. And uh, you know, I'm just like everybody else. But I have a YouTube channel, so um, there you go. Uh, the role of Triax was was another completely different uh, failure altogether. Uh, I, I put that role in my new back, the new back that I just purchased. Um, first time I'd put any film on that back and I loaded the film up. When I loaded it up, I just didn't feel quite right um, when I advanced the film uh, to, to, to get it set to take pictures. Usually you have to advance the film about 10 turns uh, in those in those magazines, you know, the, um, the backs. And uh, I think a couple of turns and it clicked into position. And, and I thought at the time, oh, that's a bit strange. Um, but just, you know, I thought, oh, yeah, I'll be, it'll be all good. It'll be fine. Uh, but uh, I think at least half of the, the roll of, um, at, at least the first six or seven images uh, were taken on the uh, backing paper of that roll of film. And I also must have had some slipping as well because I took some pictures when I came back. Uh, just to just to just to finish off the roll, and there was this like uh, doubling up, uh, you know, cross 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 exposing of images. So I'm going to have to play around with that film back and uh, do some testing on it to make sure that it is okay. Like I say, that is the very first roll of film that I put through that back. So um, interesting. Um, there you go. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the episode, even though I didn't get any pictures. Uh, I've got some nice video imagery uh, of that, uh, you know, that location. Uh, quite stunning. And if you're ever in the central North Island, go and check it out. It's a, it's a very cool little spot. Um, that's it for this episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, uh, if you've been inspired, if you've learned something, uh, and you want to support my channel, you can do so by buying my book, Scenes from the Black Sand. It's available from my website. I'll put a link up here for that. Uh, Scenes from the Black Sands about my time uh, in and around the west coast beaches of Auckland, uh, the black sand beaches of that area, uh, Port Waikato, Kiriatahi. Uh, it's available from my website for 30 New Zealand dollars. Uh, that includes free shipping. Uh, 30 New Zealand dollars, uh, free shipping anywhere in the world. Um, Scenes on the Black Sand, like I say, if you've been inspired by my vlog in the past or today or whatever, uh, the best way to support this channel is to um, to go and buy that book. I just want to just put a little side um, uh, about, you know, sponsorship and um, not so much sponsorship, but uh, the whole YouTube advertising thing. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little bit tired of every time I put on a video, uh, just having to wait at least a minute to, to watch that video um, and, and just sit through multiple ads and uh, have been finding that frustrating from my point of view, uh, looking at other people's work and uh, content on YouTube. So I've made a decision uh, that over the next, I think, two or three videos uh, to demonetize those videos. I'd like to just uh, see what sort of effect it has on my channel. Obviously, being a YouTube creator, um, I rely on 
uh, income from my YouTube channel to uh, to supplement my my my, my photography and um, and my lifestyle, I guess. So um, I'm just going to do a run and experiment on that and just demonetize the channel for the next couple of weeks, I guess, um, two three videos. Um, and just interested in your feedback if it makes a difference to you as a viewer. You know, obviously, like I say, I'm a creator and um, I don't get a lot of income from the advertisement side of uh, of, of of the channel. Um, you know, the um, the ads and the monetization of the channel, if you like. My income mainly comes from the sale of my book. Um, but obviously, you know, by demonetizing, I'm just inter interested to see if it has an effect on the algorithms and how much views my videos get, because obviously I need people to watch my work, to buy my book and whatever, and to um, to help support the channel. So uh, I'll be interested in your feedback, and we'll we'll see how it goes uh, um, over the next couple of videos. That's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. Uh, apologies for the imagery, uh, but I'm hoping that you got something from the you know the experience. Uh, I've got to go now. Take care. Um, stay safe out there. Uh, I'll see you again very soon, hopefully. Hari from New Zealand. Goodbye.